So there's the airport terminal building, and there's the airport S Bahn station, and there is the walkway to the Maritim. Willkommen. Welcome to hotel number five of what has now become an eight night stay in Germany. I'm at the Maritim Hotel in Dusseldorf Airport. I've stayed here twice before. It's always excellent quality and it still is. So due to a hitch with the uh, railways I'm now here an extra day uh, and uh, as I've missed my flight so here we go with yet another room review okay so as soon as you enter the room you get a full length mirror your baggage but you don't get that with the room that's my baggage next to that you get a big wardrobe and in fact you get a very big wardrobe as you can see and then next to that very big wardrobe you get another half a wardrobe with some shelving and a safe, one of those safes where you put your own combination in. Opposite that we have a mirror full length checking yourself out and opposite that we have a selection of bottled items, glasses, paprika chips, whatever you want to see and the expensive minibar which I won't be using. The good thing about this hotel is that it's a two minute walk into the uh, airport and there's a, a shop down there, a raver, which is a lot cheaper. Oh, so, what do we get in the room? Well, this is a really expensive room. Uh, I wouldn't have normally paid full price for it, but I had little choice. I could, have, uh, I could have gone online and started messing about and going other places and paid less, but in the end I just thought it was easier to come here. I've paid €179, Euro, which is about £126, for one night only, um, and that's not even with breakfast. That is literally how expensive this hotel is to pay on the day. Um, I've never paid that much before when I've booked in advance, incidentally. So, what do I get for my money? Well, I get a very large uh, pair of beds, so very comfortable there. And uh, on this side we've got light switches and uh, a bedside lamp. I'm not sure if there is a plug down there, I can't see one. But on the other side of the bed, along with a telephone and lamp, there is actually a plug for charging your things up. Next to that is a nice big uh, chair with a thing to put your feet on, footstool, so that's nice. Coffee table and lamp and then a very large desk area here for working with more plug sockets. Uh, telephone and TV. So all very high quality. You get free unlimited internet in the room, although the download and upload speeds are limited, but the amount you can download and upload isn't. So there's the room. So I'll give it one last spin around. Let's have a look in the bathroom. And on the way to the bathroom, there's another plug socket. So the bathroom is bright and creamy white. Just off white, nice and creamy coloured. Very shiny, modern, new. Towels, sink, all good. There is a shower bath, so another one where you've got to climb over. One and a half tiles, about uh, oh, 15 inches to climb over there. There are things to grab onto as you do go over if you do have problems climbing over stuff like that. 
And there's a very nice large shower head awaiting you on the other side. Sink, nice and uh, clean and modern. And you get a selection of maritime uh, bits and bobs just there. Of course there's the hairdryer for those people who wish to preen their bouffants. And for those people who want to make sure that they're very clean downstairs, there's a downstairs cleaner. A B-Day. I'll do some more filming around the hotel shortly, but I'll feed us in for now. So through the murkiness in that direction is Dusseldorf city centre. It's about four or five miles away. And the weather's pretty grim today so I've decided to stay at the uh, hotel and airport rather than explore. As, to be honest I've done Dusseldorf to death in this region. So I've been to reception and asked for a late checkout and uh, they've let me have one at 10 euro per hour so I'm going to have an extra two hours which means I can have a swim in a minute but here's the view from my room by day now all the noise you can hear you don't hear at all when the windows are closed they're completely soundproof here. but look at this a bit of demolition going on in Germany and what do they do to minimise dust? They have water spraying on it. Why don't we think of stuff like that in the UK? So I'm looking straight out onto the uh, apron, Terminal C. Thing now.
So the lift to the swim pool is not the same lift as the uh, general customer lift. fast lifts. And they're Otis. And they're glass lifts and you get a nice view as you go in. Spudger. Yeah. 